Crude City, City wants the City of Elves now the property of orcs. We should be cautious when approaching this tribe. They are not as hostile as the other orc tribes, but they will not welcome us. Well, that's a risk we'll have to take. The tribe was... That was a kind of an insulting noise. For orcs. Jeez, wow. Way to fucking profile them. The tribe was quick enough to notice the approaching group and prepared to attack. But it wasn't orcs that attacked. Men sprung out from behind the elven buildings. Occultists! Hooray! Um... Yeah, cultists aren't resistant to dark magic. Uh, no. Don't think so. I'm wrong. They are. They were, in fact, resistant to all magic. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be unfortunate. Uh, well, um... Let's just start killing one of them. Yeah, they're literally just all the same thing. Now, bad guys are a little weaker. Uh, let's throw a buff out. Alright, Draco, do you want to make them be... No. Wow, yeah. Wow. Are they super resistant? I mean, they're resistant. Okay, if any... Okay, uh, burn condition probably not going to do a lot of good. What's the other condition we throw on? Frozen. Frozen. It's, the same, it's the same as burn, just water damage. Okay. Like, there's no difference. Okay. Um, we do want to slow them. Uh, yep. And they're not resistant to being slowed. Good. What does that do to them? Uh, soul rot, poison, or frozen. Frozen. Frozen? Frozen. Yeah, I could, we could freeze the back row. That seems great. Oh, because this guy buffed his defense. Kiki punched that front row guy. Yep. Continue killing. <laughs> what, a, what a waste. Uh, okay, okay. Continue killing. Revive all. Whatever. Jerk. Loren, kill this man. He's still got his defense buff for another round. Yeah. Kamara, kill all of these men. Buddy, thanks for coming. Uh, slow again. Yep. Loren. Yep. Make end this man, yep. End that man. Draco, I guess, yeah, just stick him, right? Like, Saren, for fuck's sake. There we go. Yay! More of these guys. What are the cultists from the mountains doing here, dude? A rogue man stood out among the orcs as he pushed his way to the front. You are trespassing. We know you're harboring a death knight. Bring us to him. Kalthus was silent. All the orcs looked at him. Have you come to bask in his divinity as well? Yes. Sure. Someone asks you if you're a god. Yep. We are curious about him, yes. That's why we murdered your friends. Yeah, no, totally. Kalthus was silent for a while, uh, contemplating them. You must first prove that you are worthy to be in such exalted presence. Show me your valor, and I will consider your request to join our... I'm sorry, this desert dust is just wreaking havoc with my sinuses. Join? Who said anything about joining something? We have no choice except to murder a lot of people. Let us play that game. It will get us closer to the night. We get to make another choice. No, we just get to stab you. Oh. The orcs formed a circle around a large pit in the ground. Amukiki recognized what they were seeing. An arena. Cracks knuckles. <laughs> if you succeed here, you will have our consideration. That's it? Just some goddamn consideration? It is good enough for us. Three of your best fighters and survive three consecutive battles.
Shall we begin the test of worthiness? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, sure. Uh, Alright, so uh, party limit is three, but we don't have to bring anybody mandatorily. So, no so Saren. Saren, you're out. Emma Kiki, I think you're out. Um, I want to bring, Loren like... Loren is really stabby. Loren is really stabby. I think I want to bring Mesfit in. Because uh, he's so good at murdering things. Yeah, like, he just in... hits, like, a train. And then, uh, I... Then... Draco? Yeah, probably either Draco or... Uh, yes, because she can heal. Yeah, she's got the, the, the group heal. Yeah. You will first fight against the goblin captives. York's unlatched metal cages and outsprung green goblins. They were ravenous from having been starved. God, this doesn't seem unfair. Or this doesn't seem fair. Jesus! Oh, golly. Um, well, uh, I guess... Loren, uh, buff or just murder? Um, they have 400 hit points. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do that. She so. does a lot of damage, but... But buff, and then Mesfit, because buff Mesfit's probably gonna be... Uh, heal... He, Mesfit's about to go. I think he heals when he demon shifts, doesn't he? I'm unconvinced. Okay, then heal, uh, yeah, heal two. Uh, re oh, yeah. You regenerate 30 hit points, which would not be a lot. No. Alright. Now. Now you murdered Star. It's on like Donkey Kong. Oh, Jesus! No. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I think we need Aokiki just for staying power. Mesfit doesn't have the. The Burl? The Burl, yeah. Um, I guess we go for the slow. Yeah. And fail. <laughs> Get that wizard in the front row. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Let's move on. Potion of minor healing. Alright. Uh, uh, the second fight is against untamed beasts. Yorks on these wild animals. Clearly not bred to be simple house pets. Wait, you, you don't breed it wild animal. What? Um, All right, so Loren buff. Yeah, I think that because if uh, these don't yeah. hit as hard, and they yeah. don't have, they don't have a wizard, like that's their that's the big that was the big problem, right? Yeah. Uh, get that slow. Uh, yeah. Well, something. Get that demon. Get transform. angry. Can we just kill this? No, no cause we're weakened. Ooh, sure. But yeah, we can do that. Um. Mm -hmm. Maybe throw a heal down. Uh, sure. Just like a little one. Yup. Yeah, it's the, it was the wizard that that nailed yeah. him. And now you have to face the ultimate test. The three strongest orc warriors. Oh, that first. seems like a terrible idea. Ooh, look at that one. Yeah. Like you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna give us your three best warriors, and we're probably gonna kill them. At Thund least one of them. Like Thundering footfalls sent shivers through the battlers. An ogre and two large orcs cast shadows on, on them from the top of the pit. Oh, so that's an ogre, okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't read that thing, that's fine. Alright. Alright. Uh, so. Second like verse, same as the first. Yeah. Punch, punch, punch. They do 24 damage, 50 damage each. That's. Okay. Right. So, yeah, demon up. Uh, get that slow. Oh, slow the ogre. But they're still uh -huh. next. Uh, can she kill one of the orcs? Nope. Nope. Close, though. Still, yeah, still. Let's get rid of them. We'll deal with the ogre later. Ooh, they shoved Loren into the back row. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, can he get a kill? No. In that case, can we... No, that's terrible. Well, actually, that's, it, it, that's... it kills one and does damage to others. It's yeah, not a wasted turn. Yeah, that's not turn. bad. Um, move. Yeah, swap. Yeah, swap. And then kill this guy. Oh, she can't. She's paralyzed. Yeah, okay. Uh, defend. Yep. 
Yeah, these guys just don't do enough damage. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's damage. <laughs> I like the first round was by far the most dangerous. Uh, now this, because this doesn't work on bosses. Yeah, but all his percentage based stuff, he just instead has to just settle for doing a giant pile of damage. Yep. And I'm okay with that. Uh, how do you take a defensive stance while paralyzed? It's like the only thing you're allowed to do while paralyzed. Yep. You're only mostly paralyzed. Standard axe. That Hooray. sick loot, though. Impressive. You demonstrate the qualities we seek in do members. Did, did you like have to do ability, this fight? Like the ability to kill our previous best members. Saren looked nervously at Loren, not wanting to be initiated in any cult. <laughs> Show us the way to the Death Knight. In good time. No. Now. The cultists finally weren't realized they weren't seeking <laughs> enlightenment from the knight. Loren's blade didn't even have to leave its sheath. After witnessing their strength, he couldn't refuse any of their demands. The ex exalted blood. He, he is residing in the orcs gave to the east. The cultists took off running after that. Coward. I feel like that's where you're like, Ray, Ray, can you hit him? Ray, you got this one, buddy? This is your, <laughs> this is your moment. Like, what? Oh, no, oh, no, I'm going to kill him. I'm just waiting until it's fun. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I'm just letting him get to get to range. Yeah. I want him to think he's safe first. Yep. Check the wind. <laughs> they looked around at the orcs, who were staring at them in admiration. <laughs> we just murdered your three best. Oh, All right. Dear. So, Mesfit. We already got the best of those things. We Were we buffing him in the other one? Uh, yeah, we were getting him backstab. Yeah, because if in the case where Loren does that thing, backstab will do a whole bunch of damage. Yeah, that's true. Uh, for her, we were getting her... Oh, she's going to scope one anyway. Yeah. Um, Dora... Dora was getting her pinning shot, I think. Yeah, we're upping her backstab and her... Oh, no, what's the middle one? That we're building towards? This one here? Oh, no, no. Snipe. Snipe. Oh, it, oh, it was the rain. Yeah. We were just giving her pinning shot and backstab because they were useful. Pinning shot. Let's pin her shot. There we go. Yeah, it paralyzes. That's paralyzes useful. good. Um, more will. Will. More will. Good talk, everybody. We've earned their respect. We should use it wisely. Champion of the Orcs Arena. Hooray! So many Chivos tonight. Can you take us to the Death Knight? Do you... Uh, do you understand me? The Orc Chieftain grunted and gestured to his people. A group of Orcs broke away and urged everyone to follow them. They want to show us the way. Excellent. Let's go. The Orcs led them deeper into the desert. But they stopped at the sight of a large cave. Is the knight in there? Yours did not answer, but instead scurried away. They didn't want to go nearer, so it would be up to them to find out what was inside. Travel to Vorklair to find the Death Knight. That's what the Vorklair is for! The party was standing outside the big cave, once inhabited by Vork! The only sound, the desert wind. <laughs> yes, we would like to see. They explored the depths of the cave and found that it belonged to the mountain range of Everburn. The heat was unbearable. I feel uneasy here. Yeah, it's really hot. Not that. That's evil near. I feel the dark. It's it's kind of good. The dead night is here. Oh no! Look. I saw a dull light pour out of a tunnel ahead. Loren cautiously entered the tunnel and exited into an unnatural glow. The light was blocked out only by the silhouette of a monstrous man. Loren moved in front of everyone to protect them. Who are you? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I want this man on my team. I want him on my team. He looks so sad. <laughs> the glowing man turned around. He held no emotion. It, it's really a, a Bishonin with Skeletor armor. The Death Knight stared at them. His form was ghost-like, as if it were made of smoke. His eyes pulsed with haunting blue. 
Everyone, even Loren, went cold as ice in his presence. We must call the necromancer. However, no one moved a muscle. The icy glare of the death knight froze them in place. Who are you? Not where I would have gone with that, but all right. No, no, no. They looked at each other. He was speaking to them, not killing them. I am Princess Loren of the Amazons. Knight's eyes scanned everyone in the party and rested on Mesfit. His high expression changed for the first time. A demon at you. Mesfit looked around to make sure he was the one being addressed. Yeah. Saren was unsure if that were a good or a bad thing in the eyes of this knight, but he didn't react. He returned to look at the rest of them. I am Zeal. Oh no, now that he's named basically Zool, I'm, I'm more on board. Yeah, alright, fair. Uh -huh. Even this one statement sent shudders through the whole group. The knight took a step forward, and the others took several steps back. Zeal noticed their fear and the ember blade on Loren's hip. Do you plan to kill me, or not? Is it even possible? Oh, it is. But are you willing to pay the price? Mother Mort mentioned nothing about a price. Zeal gave Saren his full attention. A necromancer, you've made a deal with the worm. We have. She convinced us there was no other way. You were being used by... Uh, duh. I'm more valuable to you alive than I am dead. A dead knight only uh, place. Dead... Oh, what? Oh, sorry. Same color-ish. A death knight's only place is in the Underrealm. Speaking of that, this heat is really chafing my Underrealm. I belong here. Zeal's voice boomed and his eyes glowed brighter. Oh, you're kind of destroyed our world since the beginning of time. I walk this land same as you. This was my home. You're not going to be able to speak at all tomorrow. Not even a little bit. How is that possible? Another is attempting to destroy it. He is called Bost. The name stung their ears. You'd know him. If you went to Death Knight Junior High or whatever. I'm here to destroy him. Everyone went quiet. If you destroy me, you will lose your greatest ally. So I ask again, are you willing to pay that price? I think yes, we are. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, unless he can be a party member. Uh, I don't think he can. Should we check? Uh, I think we... I, I have. Okay. There's only four new party members in the DLC, and we have them all. Okay. And this guy's definitely DLC. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Loren looked over at Saren. They were both conflicted by what they just learned. Although I'm kind of glad, because my voice choice was not good. This right? guy lasts more than a conversation. For a Death Knight, Zeal wasn't as terrible as they predicted he would be. Sure. Uh, I think we just kill him. We just kill him, move on? Yeah, because... <laughs> we, we have decided. No Death Knights should roam our lands. None. I'll see. You will sacrifice much for such pride. Even your own lives. Well, we are willing to sacrifice our lives. We just demand that you sacrifice yours first. We are prepared to pay any price. Saren, kill him. <laughs> Um, ma'am, ma ma I'm I'm very bad at killing things. We've established this. I believe I've been to the underrealm. Your honor will mean nothing there. Saren, kick him in the underrealm. Loren pulled out the ember blade with a battle howl. Nice. Quick, rend him so we may call upon Mother Mort. Like, I don't want to be friends with either of these people. Really, we should have killed Mother Mort, too. Uh, yeah. Uh... We are supposed to, like, bring Souser. Should we bring Souser? Uh, yeah, we could do that. We can swap him for, uh... Oh, yeah, Souser's mandatory. Okay, so yeah, we should bring uh, Souser then. Uh, Kambara so... doesn't sound like she's super useful in this fight. I suspect not. Uh, probably Dark Magic's uh, not too Bruce thing. Alright. Rock and roll. All right, so what do we got? Three cultists. Uh, yep, which we should kill as quickly as possible, and then Death we'll Knight, who is resistant to like everything. Yeah. So, yeah, 
worry about... This is just a slugfest. So yeah, back row first. Get rid of those cultists. Yeah, because they can revive things. Yeah. Yeah, no, just... Yeah. Because we don't want him to waste his action points doing no damage. Sauzer. What does Sauzer do? He has a dragon kick. Does, it, does he have any personal buffs? 50% defense bonus for 5 turns. That, that seems, seems worthwhile, given that he's currently our tank. And buffity buff. Yep, rally everybody. Alright. Trico. Yeah, they're resistant, but... So we can focus on killing them? Or we can sacrifice a little bit of damage to do a little bit of damage to him? Um, i say focus on killing them. Like, they're gonna be a pain in the butt. Let's get that slow. Oh, that worked on them. Good, good. Alright, so now we got... Can we paralyze them? 25% uh, chance for two turns. Or with a row, we can get a 50% chance. Yep. Because he's going to be resistant or immune to paralyze. Oh yeah, he's a boss. He's... Yeah. Oh, disappoint. Oh, whatever. Alright, um, Dragon Kick does 5 to 6. Yeah. Oh, but it, it, and, oh, it paralyzes things that aren't bosses. Okay, great. So yeah, ten just damage. Kicks. Oh, go Sazer! I'm I'm so glad we brought you along. What is that? Regeneration. Regeneration. Great. Oh, fuck. Loran, on the other hand, does fifty damage. Right. Great. Uh, no arrows. Arrows. Back row. Yeah. Saren, twenty-two, twenty-five. Not bad. Oh right, Sazer's very quick. That is no damage. Oh, Sazer doesn't have any weapons. Right. He doesn't have any gear. And we were like, why would we give him weapons? He's a monk. Right. Well, whatever. Uh, he can just keep going again and again. Ren. Oh, has all the status ailments. Uh, can you? Can we do anything about that? Yeah, we can do a couple of things about that. Removes any negative conditions, yes. Three turns of any negative conditions. Yeah. Because she has a buttload of them. She still has a buttload. Alright. Alright, Apollo Michaud. Um Yeah, I think again we just turn we just open up yeah. on the back row. Yeah, we just need to make them dead. And then it's he's one. gonna do the rest. And there we go. Oh, Siphon life. Life. life, that's annoying, but regeneration's gonna go away soon. Yeah, we're just gonna keep wailing on him. Why don't we do uh, a quick just row here? Generally heal? group heal, yep. 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 And now we just yeah, we just wail. Like, he's almost out of SP, too. Like, we're yeah. just going to outlast him. Um, nope. He's immune to that, so... 35, 40, 44, 51. Yeah, because the, the level 1 works best on a single target. Um, what does staff do? No. 19, okay. 22, yeah. It's... Try this on for size. Uh, is he immune to slowing? He's resistant to slowing, but not immune. Alright. So we can try and slow. Uh, what is level 1 slow? It has a higher chance of... The, okay, the higher, higher level. levels, higher chance? Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, he's slow. slow. Uh, let's throw a heal on uh, Ren. Yep. Yep. Yeah, now it's just a slugfest. A slugfest which we are going to win. By the longest fight we've had. Yeah, I think so. Oh, and Ken even gets the finishing shot. Death Knight Sword, two handed. Two handed. Ah, oh, great. Hard pass. Well, I mean, we got the one guy that. Zeal fell to one knee. He cried out in defiance. Uh, Kingslayer! Mother Mort, where is she? They looked around while covering their ears, ears from Zeal's mighty voice. The necromancer woman was nowhere. She's abandoned us. We must kill the Death Knight on our own. Ren walked right up to Zeal and plunged her sword deep into his chest, and his bellowing stopped. She had to prop her foot up against him to pull her sword back out. 
The body of the Death Knight started to glow as his eyes once had. The light grew brighter, brighter and painful to look at. What's happening? He is descending! Stay back! Everyone put distance between them and Zeal, except for Souser. Young monk, move away! No. Nah. Souser looked at his hands and legs and spoke with an odd resignation. Souser? So, this is like what she meant. He stared at Zeal's body and started to move closer. What, do, what are you doing? Souser performed a few moves that looked similar to his monk training, punching and slicing me into the air. The light from Zeal lifted from his body, moved through the air and onto Souser. Everyone was silent as Souser was covered in the glow. Eventually, the light melted into Souser's skin and he released his pose. The monk gasped for air a few times before falling to the ground. Oh no, Saucy! Saren rushed up to Souser and checked for damage. He's alive. Praise to the great mothers. What happened to him? What was that? Saren rolled Souser over and looked at him better. He looked unharmed, however, every blemish and scar had somehow disappeared from his body. Something isn't right. Souser moaned and stirred. Dude. Well, he's a weak. What did you do? Souser blinked and looked around at the group. His eyes settled on the empty space on the ground where Zeal's body had once been. He's lied. Gone permanently. How do you know? My hours of meditation, like, finally paid off. <laughs> yeah, dude, I took, like, this, like, three-hour <laughs> online meditation course, and it really just helped me, like, focus my oh chakra. My <laughs> um, bruh. I think I may have just, like, saved the world. Thank you. Burns. From him, anyway. But how? His light went into you. Damn right it did. She knew I could do that. She was like betting on it. I banished many a demon in my years as a disciple. I just didn't know it'd be that simple with a death knight, dude. That was a really disappointing battle overall. He wasn't as much of a menace as I was expecting. Dude, it's pronounced Menace. He did warn us that it was not strong enough to get forced. I suspect something else is at play, too. Everyone stared at Souser for a long moment. Dude, I'm like, fine. I feel fine. That's what we're worried about. We would like, go back and find that lady and ask. Souser forced a smile, but everyone was still wary about what had happened. They left the cave. He needed to confront Mother Mort back at the catacombs about what happened. Let's do the thing. Catacombs, not Castle of Fumar. There's no reason to get closer. There we are. Well, those catacombs are really far. Yeah. Company again, dear Raven. Greetings. Have you killed the king? We could just kill her too. Uh, yeah. We've killed everyone else involved in this DLC. Seems great. Kumbar's like, wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I was just checking your thing. Uh, also, it's your line. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, but you are a dark witch and we cannot allow you to live. I may look feeble, but you are the ones who are surrounded and might I add outnumbered. The bones all around the room started to shake and slide to form skeletons. Corpses stood up. The raven on Mother Mort's shoulder cawed and flew away. Meet my true companions. So, Ken, you're out. I'm Kiki, Kiki, you're, you're in. in. Um, um, otherwise, this looks fine. Yep, yep. Especially since I think skeletons are weak to earth. Yep. God, I'm actually, like, learning the strategy of this game. Mother Mort, weak to fire! Yep, that and air. Oh, uh, and oh, sorry, and air and water and earth. Yeah, she's yep. gonna die. She's horribly. gonna have a real bad time. Yeah, uh, uh, skeletons. Yeah, weak to earth and air. Zombies are weak to air. Okay, so awesome. Um, uh, so first, useless man, go uselessing. Yeah, just uh, sure. Fire an arrow at her. Seems great. Uh, 
Buff, buff, fitty buff. Uh, Draco, if you want to, like, just light that up. Yeah, that seems fun. You want to slow everybody down. Uh, Apollo Michaud, if you want to... Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh... That's gonna deal with most of that back row. Uh, you wanna... You just yeah. wanna, like, yeah. Yeah, just in case anybody punches us hard. We really don't wanna... Yeah, sure. Yeah? Oh, that's sad. We're all, um... Poison. Yeah, let's punch Mr. 194 there. Uh, let's kill this, uh... Jump. Yeah. Actually, we can probably kill this jump. Uh, yep. Yep, we can. Saren, do you have anything to do? Oh, oh, oh! All your buffs can almost kill that thing. Yeah, I'm looking if you just want to uh, finish that job. Just that. Saren, I'm gonna set that up for Loren. Uh, yep. He's gonna. Clear him. Didn't need the setup, but whatever. Um, do we have a weak to fire, weak to earth? Well, doesn't really matter. Does single target for him do better? Yes. Good call. Uh, die by bees! Mort's Mantle. I wonder if there was a bunch of, like, exciting, like... No, there wasn't. No. <laughs> like, Our cleric doesn't have turn undead. No, no, I mean, like, all of the stuff we skipped by just murdering everybody. I'm slightly curious about the story that we've completed. Fetch quests. Such unpleasant company. Those are your last words. Bad company! A necromancer. It's replay value, right? Like, we can play this whole game again. Yeah, it's true. I'm going to play this whole game again. No. The necromancer fell to the ground and withered away until she became ash, revealing the magic that had been hiding her true age. Dude. That was a little fun. It smells so terrible in here. I'm going to lose my breakfast. Uh, what kind of cleric doesn't turn undead? Lots of clerics. Don't, uh, don't judge. Hold it, Draco. We have to get out of here first. All right, we just finished the DLC by murdering everyone in it. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's put on that mantle. Yeah, let's go to camp. All right, yeah. Yeah, I assume there's going to be, like, a camp scene. The heat was sweltering. Across Erevorn, Saren was experiencing new weather that he had never experienced before up in the cool mountains of the Citadel. Sticky, hot air blazing across his skin was new. Not even the wind gave him relief. It was unusually hot for the others as well. The Ren and Karen especially. Not that you'd know. How did people function under this sun? The Citadel much more kind. We should travel soon. Find. We should travel soon to find a new sun. I don't think that's how anything works. That yeah, that's. It's so hot. It's so bloody hot. Like, are we about to get like a bathing suit scene? Oh my God! Is this our beach scene? Like, it is kind of tradition for, like, oh, big... romantic visual novels to have oh. a bathing suit scene. Yep. Big baby, I don't even feel it. Or is this when we get our, like, alt costumes where all of our abs are exposed? Mmm. Dora wiped a large amount of sweat from her forehead. I keep thinking about the lake nearby. It looks so refreshing. Beach scene! Lake? They paused, all thinking about the same thing at the same time. Leak! Draco and Dora shot away from Saren and toward the water. Saren moved to follow them. I saw they were mustering all the campers to join them, and they were accepting. Kambara slid up to next to him with a devious look. Are you coming to the lake, sweetheart? The thought of bathing with Kambara. Someone needs to stay and guard the camp. Kambara looked a little put out. I did not know you were going to say that. Spoil sport. I'll have to describe it to you later. Saren sighed, having missed a chance for a cooldown. He stood on guard in hopes of going to the lake after someone returned. That was the only thought he could think of as the sun beat down on him. <laughs> his eyes closed and his head went fuzzy. The air was choking him. He swayed in place. Well, yeah, you're wearing armor and you're not wearing a hat. Yeah, it, well... <laughs> then a hand held him steady and a remarkably cool sensation enveloped his head. My guess is mirth. Mmm... No! <laughs> I guessed wrong. Saren perked up and felt a wet cloth around his neck. He looked over his shoulder to see a blue elf standing right behind him. None of you would last in the desert. 
Saren smiled, seeing how well Misfit was handling the heat. A damp cloth on his neck was working magic. He touched it in gratitude. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. <laughs> Next motherfucker who talks about a dry heat, I'm just going to tear his throat out. I appreciate your help. Thank. Saren felt Misfit's head over his shoulder, almost taking in an almost silent breath of air. Saren spun around and placed a hand against Misfit to keep him away. What was that? Misfit didn't look guilty of anything. He only stared at Saren with some interest. Where does your scent come from? <laughs> That's an interesting question. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so, sorry, I thought, you know, Kambara's weird workplace harassment problems suddenly seem tame and normal. You don't smell like anywhere I know. And I've smelled lots of things. Let me tell you, it's, it's a fucking universe of olfactory, uh, it's a fucking smell orgy in here. Elves are known for a keen sense of smell. You're having an old factor orgy? An orange factory, yes. Saren finally removed his hand from Mesmet's chest, realizing he meant no harm and was only smelling him. <laughs> it was a behavior he'd never encountered before. Fair? Yes. <laughs> Smell. Well, I've never considered my smell before. Yeah, about that. Uh, <laughs> everybody else asked me to kind of chat with you about it. We would like you to maybe consider. Uh, go to the lake after. Seriously, the fucking lake, dude. I love the fact that we're having the beach scene, but they don't have the budget for the art. <laughs> so we didn't go. <laughs> you don't smell like mirth. Or Ray. I don't come from a forest. Then why the fuck do you smell like a goddamn spruce tree? Spruce tree, huh? You must be smelling lavender oils. What? Lavender, flower. Hey, I saw the scent of flowers. I fucking have smelled flowers before. <laughs> Look, when I, this is a really extended diatribe, but the fact that you stink. Mesut leaned in again, and Saren tensed. I smell a city made of stone and mud. Fresh kills. Cleaned and cooked. Fire. My city. It needs me. It calls to me. <laughs> Fuck. But also... Fruit. Look, that's a bit of a slur that I don't think we should... Like, it's honestly. okay to admit that you're a fruit. I like kiwis. He can really smell that well? Wine vineyards. You're describing the Amazon Citadel. So you're saying... Which I haven't been to in literal months. It's not kiwis. You're saying... You're home. Saren was about to answer yes, but his mind still hung on the word. The Citadel was where he lived and grew up, but home? Mm, there. Yeah, no. I'm a slave there. Yes, but took Saren in for a second time. Are there many slaves like you there? He listened without any emotion as Saren explained Amazon culture to him in, in as best detail as he could. He described the slavery of men, no matter their birth, and how they were used for procreation and labor. That implies to me that if you were a lady, you would not be a slave. But I don't think that's true. Well, no. So all men are necessarily slaves. Oh, yes. Women are slaves if they're not Amazons. Yeah. Saren explained how he still considered himself family to his mother, even though the Citadel did not think of him as an Amazon son. I could have chosen death many at any time, but I didn't. I chose this. I hold on to that fact, and I get through each day. What was your mom's name? Was Mar it Martha? Martha? How did you wow, know? What? <laughs> How did you know that name? <laughs> Misfit studied Saren even further until finally he raised his chin. Injustice plagues all the names <laughs> I see. Not just with the dark elves. <laughs> Initially, I questioned your decision for the voice. <laughs> but it's just gotten better and better. 
We must stand against injustice. Saren's eyes lowered. Mesfit saw his life as an injustice. He never considered his life that way. Unfortunately. <laughs> Mesfit took a breath and left. The wet cloth kept Saren cool long after Mesfit had gone, but the prospect of the lake was still too enticing. When all the others returned from their excursion, Saren excused himself to the lake to enjoy it privately. Loren objected. We're breaking camp to move to cooler plains. You should have bathed when you had the chance. Seriously, we sent Mesfit to talk to you. Did, did he say anything? Where is that dark elf? Oh, God. What's wrong? I saw him go to the lake. I thought you were saying to guard him, like always. Ray grumbled. I'll do it. He's my charge, after all. Ray didn't argue, but Loren crossed her arms. Don't take long. Moonlight fucking Bashonen Batman lake scene? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm hoping for, like, one of those, like, hair whips. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like a dolphin. Yeah. Saren rushed to the lake, hoping Mesfit hadn't truly escaped. To his relief, Mesfit was waist deep in the lake and not at all surprised to see Saren charging into view. The sight halted Saren immediately. Heat was now spreading within him, too. Oh, my. Oh, damn. Good. It's better you than him. Saren realized he was referring to Ray. After catching his breath, he envied Mesfit in the water. Even as the sun was setting, the air was as scorching as before. Mesfit stopped watching and washing and eyed him. What? I'm wondering why you haven't touched the water. Seriously, we... I understand that we got sidetracked with the whole your life is an injustice, but, I mean, seriously, they sent me to talk to you. Saren didn't have an answer. I can go. I can just, like, other side of the lake. Or, like, um, uh... No, you're my excuse to be here. Mesfit raised an eyebrow, but eventually understood. <clears throat> he waited around without any signs of frustration. Serum allowed himself the pleasure of the water by splashing it against his face his arms. It wasn't a bath, but it would do. He couldn't bring himself to bathe while, bathe while Mesfit was there. He couldn't place why. He didn't want to think about it. He also couldn't explain why Mesfit was waiting in the water with no purpose, just so that Saren could enjoy the lake a few moments more. They eventually both returned to camp. Loren shook her head from how long it took Saren to retrieve Mesfit. She held her tongue, however. Mesfit was more obedient with Saren around, and his methods were mysterious to her. Yay! <laughs> so what we actually came here to do was put on that mantle. Yeah. Uh, so Loren first, I guess. She's our... Well, the mantle's like a magic mantle, isn't is it? Is it? Um... Oh, yeah. You can't even wear it, apparently. So Draco is our... Let's check. Um, so defense plus eight. Magic. magic plus five. Yeah, so Draco... Here goes our boy initially, but I he, think he's already got one. Yeah, but does he, is this one better? Um, Magic plus three defense. Yes, straight up better. Yeah. So. Um, and then. Uh, um, next up is Mirth. Mirth. Yep. Mirth has the like standard claw, claw shawl. Cloak yep. of the Lizard King. Right, the Lizard King. I die. I am deceased. Um, go watch the C-Team. Uh, alright, do we want to... Talk to... Do we want to talk to everybody in our camp? And then, like, call it? Depending on how long that takes? Uh, sure. Alright, uh, we went left to right last time, so we'll go right to left this time. Alright, Sazer, you just, uh, transcended something. Not to be picky, but, like, shouldn't you be doing something else? I'd like to meditate. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah. Mesfit. I see you're no longer tied to a tree. It's taken too long. But it happened. You're trusted now. Mesfit reflected on that for a moment. Yes. You promised me you would. I need to tell you my secret identity. Uh, g go ahead. You, you don't, like, wear a mask. I, I transform your... into a demon. I've, I've met your dad and I've seen that happen repeatedly. My parents are dead. No, I, I... We had dinner with your dad. Like one of them. Fair, I'm sure that's very amazing. Thank you. Mesfit looked almost as if he wanted to smile at Saren, but held back for some reason. Saren decided to move on, but Mesfit stepped forward before he could leave. You're going to him again. 
him. Saren looked at Misfit's eyes to try and read him. Stay. Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah, no, we, we should stay. Yeah, totally. Where, where would we leave? Why would we leave? I can stay with you longer, if you like. Don't force yourself in my company. If you'd rather be somewhere else. <clears throat> Saren laughed and planted his feet in front of Misfit. I'm not forcing anything. How about we spar for a while? Misfit blinked at him. Meet me by the forest. Saren smirked and followed him to their sparring circle. Interesting. Oh, I expected a heart out of that. Yeah. That was like the most romantic I, encounter we've ever had. I expected... Had. So, uh, that's true. That, no, we've had some romantic encounters with, with Mirth. And Draco. We've had, like, yeah. yeah. So is that like I just a, mean, like, like, how did you come to be? Like, I'm just trying to figure out if we needed to follow up on that. Uh, or? Yeah. Saren drifted off, unsure if, if a question about his demon blood would set him off or if it was pointless to ask. The pause allowed Mesfit to fully understand. He looked away with gritted teeth. Her. Who? Demon. She spoke truth to me. She understood everything and wanted to help. Let me tell you about Catwoman. God. Mr. looked at his arms and tightened his muscles so he could see his veins. He's got to get that vascularity. It did help. In the beginning. But... You were no longer yourself. I was weak, like our ancestors. My father spoke about how we'd become a stronger race than before. I proved that he was wrong. So the Dark Elves deserve to be ostracized? I know you don't believe that. I don't. It shouldn't matter. We're still living and breathing. We still need a home. That's like saying demons deserve a place in our world, too. Wait, what? Demon. A word for an evil being. Dark. A word for the absence of good. Yeah, man. Just, yeah, yeah. Me. A name I call myself. Yeah, man. Yeah. Fa. A long, long way to run. Her words are our shackles. Your very language imprisons me. But demons are evil. Are they? We've got a fucking dog. Saren had no way to answer that. This was just an accepted fact. They had done so much evil across the world, and for no reason. Oh, friend, friend. We can be friendly. You honestly believe that demons deserve our protection? Our respect? Crimes should be punished, but what makes a crime? Have you ever thought of that? But you know that we must fight the demons. Are you truly on their side? No. I'm no friend of the demons of the East, but only because of the crimes they've committed. Not for what we are. It's not who we are that matters, Saren. It's what we do that defines us. You say they're evil, but your idea of evil may not even exist. Saren shook his head. It was too much to even begin to consider. If the demons weren't evil, then why were they fighting them? He decided to break the conversation before it got any worse. I like that we literally got into the Batman Begins quote. It's so good. 